Hi guys, it's Tanya from 4 Girls Jewelry. I'm working today mainly on the bracelets and I want to show you what kind of bra bracelets I create and what we can do today. So these all made from 16 gauge wire, 24 gauge wire and for the wrapping here I use 26. Um, I use two pieces of wire as a frame for each bangle bracelet. It's not a bangle, it's a bracelet. Um, but it's like a half bangle. <laughs> and then it has the chain. I also made a little bit, I used the torch on certain, on some links. And then add all kinds of charms. This one was made with the 18 gauge wire. I just make one simple uh, side with this. So it's, when you wear it, it can go on one side. And then your beads and any charms you want to use can go in the front. That's lapis. Okay, so let's make today this frame. I thought I will show you how I made a channel setting. Some people ask me about it. And uh, we wanna use one wire throughout all the frame, not like uh, bits here and here, because then when somebody wear it, it can unravel and people will be frustrated with the, with the jewelry you made. Only in those designs, I also use a 26 gauge inside to go around the bead and then one wire go through everything, including the bead itself. Okay, so let's see what we, we need. We need We need um, four inches of wire. It's it's 16 gauge. It was exactly four inches I cut. I will use today my bail making pliers because I want to first start with the, let's say bracelet like this. I will use the largest one and I can make a sort of like a half of the circle. You can take a little bit more time to make it perfect. There you go. So we have, you can tweak your wires, make them sit better. I always like to um, hammer, like in this piece, I hammer side. So you can take your block and you can hammer nicely your piece. You can start it with uh, and we have frame hammered frame you can hammer more if you wanted to now we will need our 
24 gauge wire and let's see how much I use I will measure it I have two feet and four and a half inches. And we do need bead. Oh, I thought I'd bring it. Let me bring my beads. So we can use today um, chat bead. I use two feet and four inches of uh, 24 gauge wire. So you can put the bead, uh, find the metal, it's like this, and we need 26 gauge for the herringbone stitch. I usually do only two wraps on the side secure and be making simple herringbone stitch cut your uh, where we attach it there is a little access wire so you can cut that nicely squish and I would use five so this is one set around and the two take your time two, two. three be ready to attach this bead to the wires we prepare. It's always hard to start. But you Try to catch the first wire, the bottom one, then you go two together at the top. And I do the same view on all my pieces. So I wrap the top one, wrap the bottom one, and then two together. The top, the bottom, two together. And you continue to do that until you have, I in my piece that I did here, I did 11, I calculate 11 those two together, when I did together two, uh, 11. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Depends on your um, wrist, you know. Um, you can also make it a little bit more. Like in this piece that I um, want to make it a little bit larger. This one was small because it fit me. I like you know, sitting nicely on my hand, but um, there is a, a lot of people have bigger wrists, so 
depends on your wrist you can this one have 12 so i think this will be a nice medium size uh i left the 10 here for the small you have to cut your wire and i leave a small amount of wires let me see usually like that much let's see how much is it so always whenever how much you cut you try to cut the same amount on the other side and I use my round mouse pliers and one by one I take one wire go all the way around like this and then tweak it up so you have this same here slowly tweak go down This one needs to be more tweaked. And there you go. Um, I will not finish the other side. It's the same thing. Started from uh, the bottom. And then you take two. And you do the same process again. Uh, when I want to show you the other bracelet, see that's the that, that's the one that I um, almost finished with uh, 12. Uh, let's let's now do the channel setting. With the bracelet we just did, you can also make different shape here. I really like the hard one. If you guys are interested, I will uh, show how to make this small heart. It's very simple. It's just same 16 gauge wire. And you will need to use your torch. But it looks nice, simple. With two wrapped uh, pieces on the side. I really like how it looks. Uh, let's now do the channel setting quickly. Uh, we will need, I use 7 beads here and the same 4 inches of wire also I'm using 24 gauge same 2 feet and 4 inches because I have 2 exactly same um, wires here on the table and I'm using my small beads. What I did is I will find the half. So I will use, I will leave less from one side and more from the other side because we will use for the channel setting this wire. So I wanna have enough for the finishing. And what I do is I just anchor it to and you put one bead use the other wire put it on top and I just wrap it twice and go all the way down. So, and we, that's that's how we do it. We do one, two. Put the bead on. <laughs> Those wires running around. 
water underneath so the top wire for me is the wire go from the bottom and I do one two and go all the way down so now you have wires that go on top you have one two same bead can't even see the hole <laughs> okay and again go underneath one two all the way down when you put a few beads it won't run away it will set nicely and I use seven beads you can use more. One, two. Go all the way down. Four. Definitely can be um, matching jewelry made with the um, same beads even the same gauge it's, it's nice the gauge you can use for the earrings it would be nice to have a bracelet and earrings the same technique made one two so we have six one more bead They are, uh, it's a gemstones, just different ones, all kinds of gemstones. I pick up the same sort of shade. Okay, so when you finish here, you have those. Now you can put your wires uh, how you wanted them, the length exactly. You want to have it in the middle. And what we do is, you just try to squish the wires closer to the frame, closer where you finish the beads. Take your time, make them sit nicely. You can also use your um, something to straighten your wires if you feel like need to be done. Because now we want to add them together. And you want it to, sometimes when it's like longer, like you have more room here, you can push from this side. push from this side but then when you do the other side we um be very close to the beads you know so it doesn't have the big gap between your two squished wires two together and your ending and you do the same thing you start from the bottom then you attach two and you do the same thing help with the and you continue doing the same weaving let's see how many I have I think I also did 10 3 6 9 10 11 I did so now you do also 11 or how many you needed cut Make the loop, put your jump ring inside, shape it, and you will have a beautiful bracelet. Uh, quickly, I want to show how I do the clasp, because you can use any chains on the side. You can make handmade chain. This is all handmade chain. 
I will film my husband did this for me, so I will film when he's home. Um, and for the clasp, I use 20 gauge. Definitely need to, the, you know, for me, it's easier to create clasp from 20 uh, gauge wire. Uh, we might, let's see how long we need it. I don't think I need three inches. I will need definitely less. Uh, I don't, I hate to throw the wire away. So how much I will use. Let's start with two and a half. Two and a half. You can use tiny two and a half. I use two and a half. Let's see how 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 it's all turned. So squish two together. Make a little bit kink in here. And use your round nose plier. I use almost the largest, like about here. And you want to have this shape. So that's two wires together. Leave that much room. Bend. And now we're making so I will use first one wire. Go around. I usually cut here. So I won't cut any clothing or anything. Nicely press. And then we have one more piece. Two. I love to cut here. So I will just push the wire more. And I like to cut over there. Okay. So you have your clasp. Before you shape, you can hammer it. Um, but I like this clasp because it's a it's nice for the bracelets, strong, um, it has two wires here. Each of my bracelets have the same clasps. Yeah, they're almost the same. They, you know, I always use the same amount of wires. So that's what I guys want to show you today. I hope you like the project. You can, like I said, you, can, you don't have to even, you can make a bunch of those with the different colors. You can make any with the round one with the bead inside, with the having one uh, wrapping around. You can do any kind of shapes, try to do different shapes. Um, one day I will probably make um, maybe triangles. I, I will try to see what I can do with uh, the shapes and maybe different little bit setting inside, maybe a few beads instead of one large. Also could be the same way how we did the wrapping here. You can do smaller parts and they can be part of a bracelet on the side. They can go on the side. And what is my hot one? I love this one. So that's also uh, 16 gauge wire you just uh, make a little heart use your torch put a little uh, ending here it looks like a copper bead that's nice and I really like it uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this too let me know what you think leave the comments below would love to hear from you and let's create unique and beautiful uh, bracelets that can be matching any kind of jewelry, any kind of clothes. 
because you can put different stones blue silver you can you can use anything you want thank you guys for watching and see you next time bye